Welcome back to Primetime News. Special welcome to folks on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, motorists who use Old Harbor Road in St. Catherine were forced to find alternative routes for most of the day after a fiery protest blocked the streets because of a fatal shooting of a bar owner Thursday night. Residents are accusing the lawmen of murder. The police, however, say they were fired upon by gunmen. Jamila Midland has the details. The Old Harbor Main Road in the vicinity of Tons Meadows and Ellerslie Avenue in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, resembled a war zone Friday morning as residents clashed with the police and the soldiers. <laughs> Fire blazed black smoke from old tires and appliances used to block the street. Right now, it's near a tent, so you road block and everything. And no matter what them do, and go and come back, we not stop because the MP wife you know who responsible. Olivia Grange is member of parliament for the area. We reached out to her but did not receive a response up to news time. The protest stems from the fatal shooting of 35-year-old Donald Brown, otherwise called Deacon. According to alleged eyewitnesses, he was in his bar that he operates with his partner when the police tried to arrest him. Where them start, yo, the man fee bar, you know, me hear the man, same time me hear the man scream and I say, a fee in bar, I walk go on, I'm my own a fee place. You know, tell me walk go on, I walk go on, officer. Same time, yeah, you yeah, understand? Same time, a woman go in front of him and I scream out and I say, I walk go on, a fee in bar. Eh? I walk go on, and me and him run, you understand? Then kick her. So we a police come and deal with the situation, that man gets scared. So he move, when I move off, you know, a tree shot, them give me nine back. Head of the St. Catherine North Police Division, Senior Superintendent Howard Chambers, says the police were responding to a reported kidnapping Thursday night when the shooting took place. The police encountered what we call armed resistance. Uh, in ensuing engagement, one of the suspects uh, was fatally shot. TVJ News observed two men being apprehended by the lawmen. A firearm was also found. We understand that there was a gun battle between lawmen and gunmen. Brown, who was in his bar, was taken out by the police in their quest to find the men. He was later shot and killed. My brother never mixed up in a bang around gun police, nothing. Nothing, no criminal act, no. They might come talk about my brother, kidnapper. My brother, my brother also had to see the one that. They keep on my sister. The deceased man's partner being consoled by family, visibly shaken. The residents reveal that the incident is now straining the already tainted community police relationship. The man you know which we come from get a like say, who is nobody. We need justice. The Independent Commission of Investigation is probing the incident. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.